Lisa here with Amy today. She and I are going to discuss purples. We love purples. It's fall around these parts and it's her favorite time of year. I love fall if it's sunny and the leaves are turning, but I don't like it if it's gray and rainy. And I do. Gray and rainy, foggy, cold, damp, dark, You're dank. You're going to be so happy fall. when you go to Seattle. I love it. That's my, that's, that's me. <laughs> the sun can just go away. Oh, no, we need sunshine. Uh -huh. Sunshine. Okay, no. <laughs> You'll have to do that. Take that out of there, Amy. And Davina. Okay. So, today, we're going to talk about just a few really, what I'd call, um, shady purples. I like to call them smoky purples. Yeah, okay. I like that, too. Smoky. And so we went with four different options today, and we both really like, actually, all of them, right? Mm-hmm. So these four are really similar, I feel like, in in color. Um, and we have so many purples. I like, know, this a was lot. a good to go with smoky. I like it. I think, that, I think that these four are good to compare because they are so similar. Um. And they, yeah, they're great. So let's start with the first one in the corner, J. Urban, and I cannot pronounce it. So, nor can I. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't see. I don't know French, uh, but Passe de, de, de Lune. Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Feel free to comment and correct us because we know we're wrong with our southern accents and our inability to speak French. Yeah. We. We just go ahead and should put out a warning ahead of time. Do not be traumatized by our inability to use the language correctly. We barely use English correctly. <laughs> so the J. Urban, um, that's how I normally say it here in the store. Like I just, <coughs> that's how I say it too. Um, oh, Urban. by the way, it's allergy season here as well. So uh, we're both um, on, Sniffly, on snorty, the meds, yeah. on the allergy drugs. So, this ink, I like the color, but also what's cool about J. Urban is that it comes in a little 10 mil bottle, which I really like if you want to test out. It is hard to get a big pen in there, though. Yeah. You know, that is a drawback to it. Then we have the, the what you'd call the standard size, which is the 30 mils. It is made in France. It's a French ink. And I like that it has this little mm -hmm. pen stand there. It's, it's, it is hard to get to the edges. Oh, is that what that is? Well, that's what I thought it was. What do you oh. think it is? Oh, well, I, what's well, the lid for? I guess so. I never even, <laughs> okay. I never even realized that. And then the cartridges. Like, I love this little tin. Like, this little tin is so cute. I know. It, it is, is super cute. And so you get these great colors. So for those tiny pens or people who like small pens, these are great. Coecos would be an example of a pen that really benefits from having cartridges. You know, um, we could have a whole separate discussion on their converters, and um, that could be a whole day discussion, and it, it has been around here before. But these are great. I love the fact that they're easy to take care of. They're kind of cute to display. Mm -hmm. um, so many of the containers aren't. You know, they're either cardboard or they're just blah. But this is cute. I don't. I I'm a mind. sucker for cute packaging. Yeah, yeah, I am too. So, and I love this Pousse de Lune because it's got a, a moon, mm -hmm. a crescent moon on it. Um, it's cute. So it's a deep purple. And how did you how did you enjoy writing with it? How did you feel about it? Yeah, it's thought. great. So, you know, I like a broad nib. Mm -hmm. So I used, um, in doing these today, I used the Bach number six um, in a dip pen holder. Um, so, yeah, I, I the J. Urban normally writes pretty dry, mm -hmm. but I feel like I, I liked it today. Um, I don't feel like this shades as much as some of the others that we're going to compare but I do like that it has really a violet tone to it and it has a little bit of shading going on uh -huh, it does um yeah. especially in the medium and I don't know I like it I like the purples it is fall and it's a great fall color so I enjoy it and in J. Urban you can never go wrong they're easy to clean out of the pen yeah it's great um if you don't like shady inks and you don't like dry inks, it's not going to be an ink for you. 
if you like uh, dry inks or inks that are, you know, you want something that's easy to clean out, this is the way to go. So next on our list, I'm being distracted by customers. <laughs> uh, next on our list is the anniversary, 150th anniversary lilac night. And Diamine. from Diamine, yeah. And it's 50 mils. Comes in a little triangle bottle. I really like it. And oh. it's a it's a very blue purple mm -hmm. or very blue lilac, um, blue leaning, and it's beautiful. It is. And it has some awesome shading going on. Mm -hmm. uh, even even in the extra. extra <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> Unplanned. I think that as you get to the broad nib, there's not as, well, there's still some shading going on no matter what it looks like to me. But I, I just, I'm surprised in the extra fine. Mm -hmm. Usually that, you don't see it as No, much. I know. And so this was done, I forgot to mention, on rhodia paper, correct? Yes. So Amy did these on the rhodia paper. So rhodia is like a nice standard paper, a little bit of coating on it. And so you can see that nothing bled through out of any of the inks. I'll show you the backs. So that's also nice with all of these. And even when she did the artwork. But I would definitely say this has a little bit of smoky flavor to mm -hmm. it. So mm -hmm. the Diamond Lilac Night for the 150th anniversary. I like it a lot. And here I wrote with the uh, um, oh, Lamy Nibs also. Right. The Lilac Night. So she did it on Tome Away paper. And yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. So she, and I did not hold on to it well. So she did it with the, the Tome Away paper. And you can see how different it comes out in the different types of paper. I always think that's interesting to see the difference. I don't know if you can see it, but we'll definitely be able to show you in pictures. But I don't know. It, ha it definitely has that smokier quality, more so in the Tome Away. Uh, and there's no, there's absolutely no sheen in this ink. So if you're looking for a sheen of ink, this isn't the one for you. But Diamine is a great middle of the road safe ink. I feel like that you just don't that run it at night. It's just I, I love it a lot. And especially in the 1.5 nib. You oh, can yeah. really see the smoky or I call it the smokiness of the purple. Mm -hmm. um, Such great shading. Yeah. Like it just has some really good shading. Mm -hmm. And Tom White tends to show the qualities whether they're good or bad on both sides. Next up is the Roaring Cleaner. Also something we may mispronounce but Scabiosa is a color that we both appreciate completely and we really like that it is a deep smoky <laughs> purple you need and word for these purples i i <clears throat> call it like a shady ink or a yeah but i really like the the aspect that it has like it's a purple black really depending on the paper you use so one of the things that amy did which i really like is we have her having tested it on several papers so the Tome Away paper, you can see that the Roaring Cleaner Scabiosa right here is really coming out to be a different color than it is when you have it on, let's see if I can do this, when you have it on the uh, Rhodia versus the Collie, <laughs> Rhodia versus the Tome Away paper. And definitely when you see the lines, uh, the wide lines that 1.5 nib. There are some amazing shading mm -hmm. in that. So I really like it, and I know you do too. I do. I, I feel like it's more of a, um, you know, we just talked about the diamond lilac night. It's more of a blue. Uh, it is. And tone purple. The Scabiosa, I feel like it's more of a mauve purple. Mm -hmm. And it's, mm -hmm. it's, but it's very nice, beautiful shade. And then your lovely handwriting really sets it off as well. So you can see that these all fall into the same family. I feel like that they all work together really well as far mm -hmm. as... For somebody who's looking for a purple that has a little bit of shading that's dark, these are four great choices. And I know Scabious is one of your favorites, it is. isn't it? Mm -hmm. So the Barossa Grape is next up. I really like the way you did Robert Oster, by the way. Oh. I love the handwriting that you, you used for it. The simple um, block lettering. Thanks. And, yeah. I love this one, too. And the shading on this is amazing. Like, I'm shocked at how it shades. Mm -hmm. um, so, she, again, used the Bach Nib Extra Fine, Fine, Medium, and Broad. And that broad, there's a lot of shading there going on. There is a lot of shading. And you can see the Barossa Grape on 
the paper that is um, ah, oh, Rhodia, uh, and then okay. and then yeah, you can. And then here's the tome away, so you can see how different it comes out. Let's see where is it. So you can see how different they come out. That's really crazy. Look at that. So it can definitely comes out darker on the Rhodia paper versus the Tumaway River. And then it's got blue shading on the Tumaway River mm -hmm. paper, Dead. which is pretty cool. So these inks are amazing. I forgot to talk about the fact that the Scabiose comes in a 50 mil, as does the Robert Oster. And we may have a video somewhere or we have pictures. This ink um, is ha I had a little half full or half empty, depending on how you look at it, because there was incident an incident earlier. Incident. Oh, incident. <laughs> there was yeah. a huge incident uh, earlier. And so she was able to show us on several pieces of paper towel the uh, nice qualities. There's a lot more blue in it than I expected. And you know, on the craft paper, too, it was uh, blue on the craft paper. Oh, was it? Mm -hmm. So, sometimes we have accidents just like you guys do. You know, we're not... Perfect. I mean, I have my fair share more than the average <laughs> person. You do more than the average inks, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't an ink in here that you haven't touched. Yeah. And so, to have, you know... An incident every other week. That's that's not bad, you know. So I think that was my biggest one so far. Is it? So mine is on the carpet behind the counter back uh, here. I had a huge like. Oh my gosh, it was awful. But we all learn. Well, or maybe spilled, we don't. I spilled. I had my Robert Oster in my bed, and um, was messing around with you know art stuff. Because I wasn't feeling good this week. So, well, I've been known to. End I up spilled with. a third of my bottle of smoke screen in my bed. So, um, you know. I did what something do you do? similar what are you and do? had it, but I left the, like, the cap open. So, mm -hmm. of course, the, pa the fabric just absorbed it right up. So then I had a big burgundy. But spill. it was so it cool like because. Died in there. It, like, it was like the chromatography on the sheets. I'm not because I have white sheets. Oh yeah. Yeah mine were and beige. It was like smoke screen the color and then it like like faded into blue. It was pretty cool. On so sheets, the ultimate it? chromatography incident <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, do you guys end up writing in bed? Because I mean I think I write at night. Like I'd put in my journal at night and I may get up for something and then I have been known not to cap a pen like it's happened. And so if other people have had these uh, things happen. We'd love to hear about it. Yeah. Uh, you can comment Maybe below. Maybe feel better <laughs> about it. Tell me I'm not the only one to take bottles of ink into bed with me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have ink samples in my bathroom. I mean, I don't know how normal that is, but I mean, maybe it is. You know, like, what's normal? I, not us. <laughs> uh, so, if you guys have your own stories, feel free to comment below because we'd love to hear about it. Like Amy said, she doesn't want to have to feel so bad about her various incidents. <laughs> I just think it's inevitable at some point. You know, like it just is. I'm pretty messy, but but then your work turns out so amazing when you're done. Oh. So, if you guys want to comment below about that, that'd be great. So, we're going to continue on talking about inks, but today we really felt like, you know, it's time to talk about purples a little bit because of fall, people are asking about them. And so, these are really nice, deep, dark purples. Um, they're not going to be springish to me mm -hmm. if there is such a thing as seasonal inks. These are more like fall, winter purples, I feel like. And also, do you guys stick with the same colors year-round, or do you change out your colors seasonally? You know, mm -hmm. that's a question that is probably important to ask. We've I, had, actually, we've had several people last week come in for, for specific fall colors okay. of ink. Uh -huh. so. And that's, that is interesting that people, you know, some people want to match their pens. Some people want to match the season, or they're trying to match, like, something in particular like a notebook or you know you never know what they're trying to match but go ahead and comment below because we'd love to hear from you and uh, even if you don't comment below we're still going to keep making these. 
because <laughs> we enjoy it and we want to provide you with options and de we definitely have options. We got them. Um, so you guys uh, feel free to um, communicate with us through social media in some form or fashion. You can find her on Instagram as about that ink. About that ink. I got it right. Um, you can find me as just Van S on Instagram. You can find our website at venice1938.com, and you can email us through the website if you have any questions. You can always call the store, or heck, you can come by. <gasps> yes. You can come by and hang out with us, and sometimes we're actually working, and sometimes we're just playing with ink. Uh, the, last weekend, we were playing with a notebook that I was testing out, and everybody, like, made a really big mess in it just to see how well it worked. But we do have it set up. We've got two large tables. Um, this back is in the back of the store. Play. Yeah, so people come in, they bring in their notebooks, they bring in their pens. Um, we have um, an Iroshizuku, Iroshizuku, um, Iroshizuku a pen testing. testing pen testing station. So people really like that. Um, the ink's already put in the in the pens. So you and can we always have like four or five notebooks going. Yeah, always. It so seems come like. by if you're in the area. Come by and sometimes there's free samples too. Like I think we have six or eight free samples up there. It's just like whenever we've made a mess and we have to do something with it, or if we've done a video, sometimes we'll take the samples and uh, put them up at the front. And mm -hmm. so if you come by, you get the opportunity to test those out. Or sometimes we have empty ink bottles that you can come and grab too, because some people want to like share. Mm -hmm. So. Those are all Just don't come you. on Sunday or Monday because that's when the stores close. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and people inevitably do. So, you guys, we look forward to um, future videos and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.